Hey fifth grade, it's Mrs. Anglade, and here I am with tonight's video of multiples of 21. Today in class, or I believe in Mrs. Galata's class yesterday, you talked about the different multiples of 21 and we made a multiple tower. So today you were given a picture of that. Um, I think it was a picture of Miss Galata's class multiple tower, so I could make a copy of it. And you um, also uh, received worksheet pages 49 and 50 and we're going to talk you through those pages tonight so please make sure that you have those um, and before we start so um, get out your math composition book and make sure you have those things because we're going to need all those okay so you were given a copy of this today of the multiple tower of 21 now if you take a look if you take a look this was the first multiple of 21 right okay and so the second the third the fourth the fifth and so on okay so where can we I want you to think about where and go ahead and circle it on your multiple tower because this is really really going to help you um, in fact I might even highlight it um, you know if you have a highlighter handy whatever you want to do I would do that okay so right here is the tenth multiple of of 21 right now think about that we've been talking about that last week we we would say if we wanted 21 times 10 right it's one group of 21 and then we add a zero to it okay so one group of 21 the tenth multiple was 210 let's see what was the second multiple of 21 so we're skip counting by 21 the second multiple was 42 let's see I think I know what the 20th multiple is, but let me see if I'm right. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, I was right. Does anybody see the relationship of how did I know that 420 was my 20th multiple? I bet I know. If I had a guess what my 30th multiple is, I bet my third multiple is going to give me a clue. Now, down here, because the, the multiple tower was so big, I had to go ahead and, and, and you know, continue it down here. So 483, it goes to 504. So if the third multiple is 63, ding, 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 I think the 30th multiple is 630, right? I'm going to give you a minute to circle, highlight, I don't care what you do. What would the 40th multiple be. I want you to highlight, circle, what would the 40th multiple be? Do that right now. I hope you said it. 840, right? What's the 50th? The 50th. 50th multiple. You got it. In fact, it's the last one on here, isn't it? Okay. Why is it the, the 1,050? Because the fifth multiple, I'm going to change back to my pen. The fifth multiple was 105. So this was my first multiple. This was my second. This was my third. This was my fourth. This was my, whoops, fifth. I bet you can't guess what my 60th multiple would be. Write it down. Write it down. What would the 60th multiple be? I hope you said 1260. I hope you're seeing the relationship. I'm going to jot down that this is my 10th because this is really going to help you. This is your 20th. This is your 30th. This is your 40th. This is your 50th. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, just because I'm a little limited on room, I'm just going to jot some things down, and I'm going to see. You can jot it down. You can just, I want you to focus and concentrate on how you would do these problems. But I'm going to write some things down, and I want to see if you can see, if you can figure out how to do them. Okay. So, if I know these are all multiples of 21, right? If I wanted you to find 21 times... 14. 21 times 14. Whoops. Ah. Now, where would you start? Now, some kids would go 1, 2, 3, 4. But remember, this is the 10th. 
So what could we do with the tenth? We could count up from there, right? 11, 12, 13, 14. So my fourteenth multiple is 294. Let's see if we can do another one. What's the 29th multiple of 21? Now, some of you might start at 20, go 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I don't know about you, but I know the 29th multiple is what? 1 before the 30th multiple. So it's 609. Okay? So that's multiplication. Boys and girls, do you believe that you can do division on this as well? So instead of combining groups of 21 together, what we're going to do is we're going to find the combined group somewhere on here, and we are going to figure out how many groups of 21 there is. For example, 672. I have 672, and I want to know how many groups of 21 are in 672. How many groups of 21? Okay. Well, what do you think you would do? You would find your 672 on your multiple tower, right? And then what, what are you going to do? Find which multiple of 21 it is, right? So we're going to say, well, this is the 30th multiple. This must be the 31st, the 32nd multiple of 21. Does that make sense? So it's just backwards of multiplying. Let's try one more before we go on to pages, um, what did I say it was? 49 and 50. What if I had, do, 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 do. oh, I don't know, 378. 378 divided by 21. Now, when I look at my multiples, my 10th is 210, my 20th is 420. What do I know about that? I know that my answer is somewhere between 10 and 20. Probably closer to 20 because 378 is closer to 420 than it is 210. Does that make sense? It's all about number sense. It's all about number sense and making sense of it. So, what are you going to do? Ta-da! Okay, it's right there. So which multiple was it? If this was the 20th multiple, which one is this one? Now, we can definitely count up from 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. But I don't know about you, but I could just count back two from 20 and still get the 18th multiple. Okay, so watch that again if that did not make sense. Beauty of a video, okay? Because what I'm getting ready to do is I'm getting ready to move on to the paper that you glued into your journal. All right, so now they want you to use your multiple tower and because I'm going to be flipping back and forth. So I hope, I hope that you have your multiple tower in front of you. I can answer number one real easily because we just talked about it, right? We just circled it. I highlighted it, right? The tenth multiple of 21, let's go ahead and write it down, was 210, wasn't it? Okay. Now they want us to do some division. 105 divided by 21. Hmm, let's go back. 105. I want to know which multiple of 21 equals 105. I even have it, like, written down over here, right? So the answer to that question is, go ahead and write it down before I reveal the answer. I hope you put five. I hope you put five. Okay. Um, I'm going to let you answer some of these on your own, so I'm going to ask you to pause. Um, let's jump down. Hey, wait a minute. What do you notice about number two and number five? I don't know about you, but the related fact family to this problem is 5 times 21 equals 105. Think about your fact families, right? If 105 divided by 21 equals 5, 5 times 21 equals 105. Ding, 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 ding. Okay? And it even says that. I forgot it said that. Use your answers to the earlier problems to help you with the later problems. Okay? All right. So what I want you to do, because these are pretty easy, I want you to hit pause right now if you've not already done three, four, and six. And um, I'm going to come back with the answers in just a minute. But try them first, okay? Pause it. Some of you have not hit pause yet, okay? All right. Okay, guys. 
So I've answered three, four, and five. Um, number four was pretty easy for me because I remember that that was the 20th multiple. And number six was really easy because we had just answered that in number one, right? Again, fact families, isn't it? Um, the only one that you probably needed to work a little bit at was the 315 divided by 15. Okay, now let's move on to the, um, oh, sorry, there was another problem down here. 15 times 21. What, didn't I just answer that? Gosh, it sure does seem like I did. 315. Ah, it was the 15th multiple. It was the 15th multiple. Oh, sorry. Um, what did I just say it was? 315. <laughs> yes, 315. I don't know why I'm going back to that one. It's right there. Okay. Sorry, guys. I didn't think that the page was going to fit on all one page whenever I was making this earlier. Okay, let's take a look at that back side. All right, so I want you to take a look at the multiple tower because i got to flip back. I want you to see whether you can do numbers 8, 9, and 10 right now. Pause the video and because I have to go back and I have to look to see what the, the things were. But you could probably do these faster without me yammering on. Okay, so pause the video and I'll be back with the answers. All right, guys, I'm back. Now, these really didn't take up too much. Um, number nine was a little bit more um, difficult for me, but I did remember that the 30th multiple was 630th, 630. I did have to go back and look at the, the, the um, to see which multiple it was. But this one, here's what I knew about this one. I knew that 420 was the 20th multiple of 21. So it looked like it appeared to me that 21, a group of 21 more made this 441. That's why I knew that the answer was 21. Okay, so I'm not going to do these with you, but Mrs. Galata and I will check when we do a journal check to see if you've done these. Write and solve two division problems using multiples of 21. Um, here's what we ask. Could it be a little bit more difficult than, you know, like 210 divided by 21, okay? So, so kind of really just look at your multiple tower and just really use it to write some really good division problems that you can solve using the tower. What you're going to do tomorrow in class is you're not going to do multiples of 21 anymore. You're going to make some multiples of 32 and you're going to answer some questions about that tower to see whether you understand this lesson or not. So hopefully it made sense. Go back and look at it again because it's a pretty interesting way to think about division. Okay? All right. We're finished for today. And, um, and I will see you in the funny papers. I mean see you tomorrow. See ya.